Narrated by Abu Sa'id al Qudri. I heard Allah's Messenger peace be upon him saying, While I was sleeping, the people were presented to me in a dream. They were wearing shirts, some of which were merely covering their chests. And some were a bit longer. Umar was presented before me and his shirt was so long that he was dragging it. They asked, How have you interpreted it, O Allah's Messenger peace be upon him? He said, Religion. Narrated by Al Miswar bin Makrama. When Umar was stabbed, he showed signs of agony. Ibn Abbas, as if intending to encourage Umar, said to him, O chief of the believers, never mind what has happened to you, for you have been in the company of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and you kept good relations with him and you parted with him while he was pleased with you. Then you were in the company of Abu Bakr and kept good relations with him and you parted with him, i.e. he died, while he was pleased with you. Then you were in the company of the Muslims, and you kept good relations with them, and if you leave them, you will leave them while they are pleased with you. Umar said, to Ibn Abbas, as for what you have said about the company of Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and his being pleased with me, it is a favor, Allah did to me, and as for what you have said about the company of Abu Bakr and his being pleased with me, it is a favor Allah did to me, and concerning my impatience which you see, is because of you and your companions. By Allah, if at all I had gold equal to the earth, I would have ransomed myself with it from the punishment of Allah before I meet him. Narrated by Abu Musa while I was with the Prophet peace be upon him in one of the gardens of Medina, a man came and asked me to open the gate. The Prophet peace be upon him said to me, Open the gate for him and give him the glad tidings that he will enter paradise. I opened the gate for him, and behold, it was Abu Bakr. I informed him of the glad tidings the Prophet peace be upon him had said, and he praised Allah. Then another man came and asked me to open the gate. The Prophet peace be upon him said to me open the gate and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise. I opened the gate for him, and behold, it was Umar. I informed him of what the Prophet peace be upon him had said, and he praised Allah. Then another man came and asked me to open the gate. The Prophet peace be upon him said to me, Open the gate for him and inform him of the glad tidings, of entering paradise with a calamity which will befall him. Behold! It was Uthman, I informed him of what Allah's Messenger peace be upon him had said. He praised Allah and said, I seek Allah's aid. Narrated by Abdullah bin Hisham We were with the Prophet peace be upon him while he was holding Umar bin al-Khattab by the hand. Narrated by Abu Musa. The Prophet peace be upon him entered a garden and ordered me to guard its gate. A man came and asked permission to enter. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise. Behold! It was Abu Bakr. Another man came and asked the permission to enter. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise. Behold! It was Umar. Then another man came, asking the permission to enter. The Prophet peace be upon him kept silent for a short while and then said, Admit him and give him the glad tidings of entering paradise with a calamity which will befall him. Behold! It was Uthman bin Affan. Asim, in another narration, said that the Prophet peace be upon him was sitting in a place where there was water, and he was uncovering both his knees or his knee, and when Uthman entered, he covered them, or it.